Howdy y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. I promised you a good casserole and that's what I'm fixing to do. Now I have some friends, there was two families, the Enlows and the Whitmires. And the Enlow kids married Whitmire kids, so in their recipe book, their cookbook that they published, they call it the Whitlow. But uh, one of the girls, Tara, goes to church with me and she has lots of good recipes. And she said that her most requested recipe is this chicken pot pie that we're going to make today. And it's, she, here's what she said. She said, Gay, it's so simple I'm embarrassed. But she shared the recipe with me. And it is simple. So y'all just hang around. We're fixing to get the bottom pie crust in the pan. And then we're going to uh, fill it, put the pie crust on the top and bake it. But we're going to make Tara Whitmire's chicken pot pie. And I know it's going to be yummy. So I've got my cream cheese softening. I forgot to lay it out and get it soft. And then we're going to get busy. We need cream cheese, cream of chicken soup, mixed vegetables, pie crust, and chicken. Now the recipe calls for just a can of chicken. Like you buy those big, like a tuna fish can only it's bigger. A can, that size can. I thought I had some, but I don't. But I have my own canned chicken that I pressure canned, and I'm just going to use about a half of this in there until I think I have enough chicken. But uh, you can just make this real quick and easy. Use canned chicken just like the canned tuna or salmon. Just open it up, put it in here. But we're going to make a chicken pot pie that's quick and easy and very rich. And the other season that you're going to put in it is, if you like it, Tony's to taste because this is spicy. It has red pepper in it so you have to be sure that that's something you like. Otherwise you could put your own seasons and mine would be onion and garlic powder and a little bit of salt. Black pepper. So anyway I'm going to get my vegetables open and drained while my cream cheese is getting soft. And this is just the H-E-B brand because it was cheaper than veg all. Got my cream cheese out. I'm going to get it in my little bowl here. Well, it isn't real soft. It could stand to be a little softer, I think. That's soft enough. I'm just going to mash it with this little spatula because I've got to incorporate it with my creamy chicken soup. Y'all make your own creamy chicken, whatever. I like camels pretty good, especially in a peach. Y'all, this does sound very simple, doesn't it? Not very many ingredients in it, but just enough to make a good chicken pot pie. You could cut your crust and put it in little individual tart pans and look like um, one of those fancy ones that they sell at the store. I'm just going to stir this up real good. Probably get a whisk in a minute and make sure I've got it mixed really well. I don't know, this is doing a pretty good job. Have y'all made the little crescent roll cinnamon things yet? Oh my goodness, those are good. Anything with cinnamon and sugar is good though. Okay. I'm going to add in some uh, mixed vegetables that I've drained. Let me get them. It's just carrots and potatoes and green beans, corn, all the good stuff that you have in chicken pot pie. Now I'm not going to just mash the pudding out of them because I don't want to mash, but I do want to mix in good with the filling. Well, there's always one that wants to jump overboard. 
and everything in here is cooked so you can season it to taste and I can tell y'all I'm going to add onion and garlic powder that's not on the recipe because I like it and I always do that you know that so I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon to a tablespoon of onion powder And I'll just press that around in there a little bit. Now on the, I'm going to add my Tonys to this and season it before I add my chicken because I don't want to just tear my chicken all to pieces stirring and a stirring it. This, if y'all don't have Tony Sacheries, it's a Creole seasoning. You can make your own. I'm going to put about a teaspoon and taste it. And it'll have some salt in it, pepper, and I don't know what all's in it. I'm sure paprika. That red pepper will get you every time. Let me taste. I want a little. Ooh, no, that's enough. It's kind of spicy. Now I'm going to just add some chicken. Let me get another spoon. That's yummy, by the way. I would say that's about a half a can. I don't know. I'm just going to add chicken, folks. Probably make some a little thing of chicken salad with what's left. Let me get my pie crust in the pan. Oh, that was just too easy. I see what she's talking about when she said it's embarrassing because it's so simple. And again, I'm going to use some bulk pie crust. Now her mama, Elaine, is going to come to the house one day and she's going to make her famous coconut pies and the crust because y'all know me I don't do crust and I told her I needed help you know what I should have thought two crusts out I wasn't thinking I was thinking about I needed a box of crust but I needed um, these came in a big box from Costco so I'm gonna have to get another one and let it get soft I'll be back in a minute Okay, y'all, I made a mistake and didn't get but one pie crust out, so I had to put it in the microwave to let it uh, soften. So we'll see how much trouble I have getting this all put together now with my mistake. Okay, I put my filling in. I got a raw pie crust in the bottom. I know that any time you mix cream cheese and cream of chicken soup, it's a wonderful combination, so I know this is going to be good already. The only thing that would make it better is if it was my canned uh, mixed vegetables. Or you could use frozen. I just did what the recipe called for so I could follow it to a T. Okay, now we need to top it. And this may be a little tricky here because my pie crust, I had to soften it in the microwave and I've never done that, so it's tearing on me. But I need a little 
peep hole in the top anyway. Let me see if I can look this in here where it won't look quite so raggedy. Y'all know this is not my specialty. So I'm just going to go around the top with my fork, try to crimp them together a little bit. See, it isn't good to do it in the microwave, but it's okay if that's all, way, all you can do, you know? I needed to get this ready. It's going to look homemade, okay? Not quite like those Marie Cavenders. Maybe I hadn't had as much experience as her. Reckon that's what it is? Experience is the best teacher. look too bad. Now let me get a knife and make some little slits in the top. And I'm going to dampen it so maybe it won't stick. That's not quite in the middle, but that'll do. Okay, here we are, ready to go in. We're just going to cook it till the crust is done. Because the inside is already done. So I'm going to rinse my hands off and get it in the oven, and I'll be back in a minute, and we'll have some of it. Okay, y'all, I got it out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and then I'm going to dish some of it up. It looks pretty good. Okay, y'all, I'm going to dish Troy up some of this, and I just thought I would uh, let y'all come along for the ride. I know it ain't going to cut like a pie, but I'm going to try to cut across here. So I can get it out a little easier. I let it cool some, so... We'll see what happens here. Yumbledy, yumbledy, that looks good. Clean that up a little bit. Because I'm going to want another little pitcher. I mean, see if it's too hot to... Mm. Oh my word. I think Gay's going to get a little bit of that too. Not just Troy. Oh, it's that creamy is creamy and I like creamy so that's gonna be real good I'm gonna uh, put that over there for him in just a minute let me adjust this camera so I can tell y'all bye I don't know how long really to tell you to bake it because I tried the 350 for 30 minutes and it wasn't as brown as I wanted it so bake it I would say closer to 400 until your crust is as brown as you want it. But the taste, I didn't taste it of it, it's good. So y'all need to make this, and you know what? If you use this filling, and you put that cornbread topping on it from the one I made the other day, it would be off the charts, because the middle of this one is wonderful. So I'll, I'll try to remember to link the cornbread one below where you can Grab the cornbread recipe off of that to pour on the top of this and bake it instead of baking it in a crust. Or maybe put a crust on the bottom and cornbread on the top. Wouldn't that be awesome? See, I'm giving y'all all kinds of ideas. That's what's the fun about a recipe. You jazz it up and make it your own. Add to, take away, or enjoy it just like it is. 
The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'm going to try to be back here in a day or so with something else good. So just hang in there. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, I'll be back with something to reward you.